Hi. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anushka and I am a fifth year medical student studying in Kaliningrad, Russia. So, this video is about all the study resources that I use in medical school. In medical school, I believe everyone goes through that phase when you're like, which resources are the best to use and, you know, the ones which has concise information and sometimes maybe in-depth information to understand a topic. So I think you have clicked on a correct video. All the resources that I'm going to mention in this video, you would ask, have I really used them all? So yes, I have used them all. And second question that you would ask me is, do I use them all the times? So absolutely no. <laughs> I do not use them all the time, but I've used them at particular times when I feel like I need to know or I need to understand this topic really well. Third question that you all will ask me is, why to use so many resources? Why also not to use only one resource all the damn time for every information is because uh, you actually lose your objectivity and you're biased towards that particular resource and you will just blindly trust on okay, everything. Let's jump right in. So the first resource that every medical student, sorry, wait, every Indian medical student uses, be that person in India or outside India, is MAP. So I think my primary resource of studying is also MAP. But, 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 there are not all the topics that I understand from Marrow. So sometimes I need to supplement my knowledge or my understanding with the help of these different resources that I'm going to tell you about. But still, I think Marrow is one of the best preparation websites out there. So the next resource that I want to talk about is Pathoma. So Pathoma is actually a website and also they have a book which is uh, developed or made by Dr. Hussain Sadr and he actually makes pathology very interesting and very easier to understand. So any video that you see of Pathoma, you will understand that the information which is given is very concise and to the point where you understand what the hell is going on in that particular topic, in that particular disease. So the next resource that I'm going to talk about is one of my favorite resources. It is, it is, it is, sketchy, sketchy micro, sketchy pharma. Basically, sketchy turns these bacteria, viruses, drugs, which is basically the nightmare of every medical student into these visual engaging stories that you will remember forever. You could also be that skeptical person, which I was at one point where I thought that I am not this visual learner person and I do not want to tr give it a shot, but I actually gave it a shot and I tried and it really worked out well for me. I can still remember like all the, not all I would say, but sketchy, um, sketchy cards of like microbiology and pharmacology. I think so. I mean, sketchy, I'm coming to you soon for revision, revision, revision. Next resource that I use in medical school is definitely one of the best resource out there. I'm not kidding, like genuinely. It is first aid and I think every one of you already know about first aid but you thought okay I'll use it in my preparation phase or when I have to ace the exams and all now I don't think like I should use but believe me even now when you're studying a topic it is it is so concise and first aid that definitely you should start using it from any time that you think that you need to study any topic or any subject well. So first aid is there for your rescue all the damn time. Uh, the next two resources that I'm going to mention are 
Capelin and Boards and Beyond. So these two resources are on the same line of uh, making you understand the concepts through video lectures and their notes. I personally have used Capelin to understand the preclinical subjects well, such as pharmacology, microbiology. For the Boards and Beyonds, uh, I personally love their notes because you know these notes always have these mnemonics, which makes you easier to understand the topic really well and also to remember it for longer time and last we are going to talk about youtube channels i mean guys please appreciate those guys out there who make these amazing videos on youtube for freaking free and i mean i mean i feel among all the resources that i've mentioned if there is something which comes to your rescue at all the damn time and to make you understand the topic let's say in like two freaking minutes it is actually youtube channels okay so i think there are few of the youtube channels that i would uh, mention in this video obviously ninja nerd second i really like is uh, medigram next one is osmosis two uh, youtube channels that i really like for anatomy on YouTube uh, and those are Netter's Anatomy Dissection and the other one is Anatomy Zone and the last but not the least zero to finals I mean to understand any disease literally just go to zero to finals as the name suggests zero to finals right so I think that's it for this video guys thank you for watching till now and if you watched or if you made this far please consider subscribing and like the video i don't want to sound like the cliche youtubers but anyways you can always comment in the comment section always give some recommendations